Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we'll be taking a look at the witch who got a very interesting change in the recent bounce update, guys. Right here is a new deck that is dominating since the recent update, guys, in Clash Royale. 3.3 average lecture, giant witch, fisherman, a minor control, also a little bit of a faster cycle deck. Over here are the stats on Royale API, and this deck is currently second place for the best decks in Clash Royale right now in Grand Challenge because Fisherman has gone nowhere since the nerf as well as you can see over here guys top three decks all have Fisherman in there here are the stats of the deck overall guys it's relatively new to the game has been used for over 5,000 battles since the update and currently has a 65.8% win rate whoops that, of course, is my face cam right there. So let's go ahead, guys. Jump into our first battle here. See what we can do with this deck. I know a lot of people have been on the fence about the Witch since the update. I've seen so many comments saying they destroyed her. She's ruined. She's whatever. But I actually think she's a lot stronger now since the update. She's basically a stronger Musketeer that also spawns out Skeletons for one more Elixir. Because she actually hits fairly hard now since the uh since the update so i'm definitely okay with the change for the witch so far uh so let's see how it goes i've been having some success with this deck over here as i said before guys the fisherman has gone nowhere since the recent bounce update despite being nerfed it's still as popular as ever ever and uh look at this right here which just absolutely destroys that baby d like Annihilated. Bad fisherman is bad though, eh? How bad you say? I'd say pretty bad. Right, let's go hard left lane, boys. I'm gonna go giant plus some skeletons as well. Eh, that's kind of a waste of some skeletons. Oh, look at them! The two pro skellies! No, the witch. No! See, not because she doesn't spawn skeletons out when she dies. However, the mega minion does destroy the P.E.K.K.A. right there. And we get no damage done. Meanwhile, the giant left lane destroying his tower. Uh, Ice Wizard was a pretty good defense by him, though. Slowing it down. But we did get some we did get some good damage done in the process. We're going to go Miner right here. Kind of just faster cycling. Get some damage done with that. And we'll see what his next plan of action here. Got to, we got his tower down fairly low. We can, if we want to, use something here. Poison for this Jazz. Skeletons here. Gonna go Witch to destroy this baby D. And uh, she'll snipe it pretty quickly here. We do take a little bit of damage down in the process. But what I want to do right now is I want to get a uh, Mega Minion here for now. Gonna go Miner off to this corner. Put some chip damage to that tower there. Nice. Log this back here as well. Wait for it, boys. This here, poison this. Pull that away. Nice, baby. Nice. Look at this. Look at this. One more witch right here, guys. Destroys the Inferno D. Now we can get a giant. No, no giant needed, guys. No giant needed because we're totally going to go minor mega minion here. Lug all this jazz back here. Skeletons for this. He will activate the King Tower there, but the P.E.K.K.A. is dead, which is all good by me. And now we're going to get a probably a witch here to destroy that Ice Wizzy. Poison for a graveyard here. Mega Minion up in this business for this baby D here. And I'm for the most part going to rely on my minor chip damage for the remainder of this battle here. We'll see if he predicts that with he does not. So we get a few damage to that tower there. One more minor shot. Alright, we good, we good, we good. I'm going to keep it up with the baby D's up in here, guys. Get this down for this. Where is your... Uh... If we go giant here, we can actually pull the P.E.K.K.A. away with my Fisherman. Watch this. Ready for this? The Fisherman like, is insane! Right there, you guys see firsthand how insane that Fisherman is. That was ludicrous, but beautiful at the same time. Look at this. The witch, the double witch action right here, destroying that Inferno D. The one witch does go down, however, which is rather unfortunate, but now we got the witch Fisherman mega combination coming down here. Fisherman connects, poison, and a log will finish the game off over here. And that was perfection in its finest form, guys. That fisherman pulling the P.E.K.K.A. away 
is exactly why Fisherman is meta right now. Uh, it works, you know, you saw in that video yesterday, I think I did, with the Royal Giant Fisherman Furnace deck that we used for tr uh, the end of season. Uh, normally, Pekka destroys RG, for example, but you can go ahead and just, like, pull it away from your t from your tank, right? So, and having the skeletons in there gives you the ability to drop skeletons in front of your Fisherman so the Pekka doesn't destroy it too fast. So, overall, definitely a huge fan of the Witch rework, guys. Uh, Fisherman appears to be still meta, which I think, you know, it's good, obviously. Whenever they do balance changes, it's it's never a good thing when the, when the card dies. So, but we'll kind of see how things play out. I'm gonna go Mega Minion here for this. It appears to be a log bait deck of some sort of some sort of variety. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the new Witch after the update? What do you think of the new uh, everything? The new balance changes, the new Witch, the new Fisherman, the new um, Wall Breakers. Guys, are the Wall Breakers are insane. Wall Breaker video probably coming uh, out tomorrow. So if you want, oh, did not realize that the uh, the the Mega Minion was gonna kill that princess there. I guarantee he's got uh, Tesla. No, I was gonna say yeah. Uh, I was gonna say uh, Infernal Tower, but he does not. Miner gets in there, gets one shot, one more. I want one giant shot, baby. No, nope. okay, you know, he's a noob. Oh, he's a noob. I'm gonna go Mega Minion for this Valkyrie right here. Log this back right here. Did not think that was going to be on the tower. Henceforth, the uh, placement of my log. Pull that princess over here. Slap her. Th he used to one-shot a princess, right? Now that was two shots. That's an interaction change from the update, isn't it? And he used to one-shot Iceberg. Oh, there's so many interaction changes. So obviously, you can see like, he's, he's quite a bit weaker from those interaction changes. But his utility is the same. His ability to pull... Uh, units to your King Tower, for example, is completely unchanged, which was your primary reason for using him anyways. So, kind of cool. Yo, 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 yo. I gotta stop letting that happen. Let's pull this princess over with my Fisherman. Oh, nice. We destroy the, uh, the, uh, the Tessa Tower there. Now I'm gonna go in with a quick giant push on the right, probably. Wait for it. It's here. I'm gonna go giant mega. Get my miner ready for a musketeer here. He's back to Tesla right now. We're gonna poison all the jazz here. Tesla should go down, get some poison damage done. Log this back. We don't miss that this time. One mega minion shot, and now the iceberg goes down. Oh, so close. Alright, let's go fish man here. No! Valkyrie, you're annoying. Thank you. I just wanted that princess to be dead. That was a bad giant. If I actually get one giant shot there, I'll be happy. Oh, so close, man. So close. The Valkyrie is going to definitely come back into the meta now that the... Uh, now that... What do you call it? Now that the... Uh, witch is kind of coming into the meta as well. Definitely foresee a... Valkyrie heavy meta right now. Just based off the preliminary results here so far. Which right here, baby? Where's my log coming down? Notice how it kind of hovered there for a second? Am I just crazy? Or did it hover there for a second? Poison this. Get the Goblin Gang out of that too, eh? Mega me for this. Get back to my log ASAP here for his barrel. Alright, interesting little uh, Tesla play there, eh? Witch here. Ooh, that sucks. Come on, baby. I'll just back here. I guarantee he's got Rocket. That uh, Valkyrie, though, is highly annoying in this battle so far. Because it just destroys my hopes and dreams. It does pretty good work versus the Witch that Valkyrie does. We're not back to a log just yet. He does have a faster cycle than we do. Which is highly unfortunate. Ooh. Do this. Oh, the, the princess! Gets annihilated with the fisherman going downtown. Go giant here, baby. Let's go for it. YOLO. It's back here. Come on, baby. Should have used the miner in the back there. We might get... No, we do not. I'm going to say we might get some, uh, some damage done with that. He can go barrel fisherman here. Or barrel log, sorry. Barrel rocket, I meant. 
Here we go. Poison this jazz. Find the back here. Hold this back, baby. Go to the back, Valkyrie. Giant one shot, baby. Oh, there we go. Wow. That was surprising. I'm a little bit surprised we won that one, but uh, it was okay. 3D trophies. The new loading screen is so cool, dude. So cool. I'm saving all of my chest uh, and my my trophy row rewards for uh, and the past royale rewards for the elixir golem whenever we unlock it. So let's do one more battle over here, guys. This new witch man, I am definitely impressed. I really enjoy a lot of these reworks they've been doing recently with these cards. It adds a a new kind of unique spin to an already existing cards, and it kind of feels like a whole new card, right? So, like, like I said before, she's kind of like a Musketeer that does more damage, right? More damage than Musketeer. Uh, and has that spawning, right? It's basically like a spawning Musketeer for one more Elixir. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Ooh, baby, that is a Fisher, man. I mean, Battle Ram. Alright, we good. False Alarm, baby. Obviously, it's going to be two P.E.K.K.A. decks in a row. Two P.E.K.K.A. decks out of three battles. What are the chances of that, guys? Honestly, the chances are pretty high. Because there is a, a well-known fact in Clash Royale. When you use Giant, your chances of facing P.E.K.K.A. are increased by 10. So, um... Rather unfortunate, but it is what it is, dudes. It is what it is. Look at this, look at this witch. Look at her go. Just get the damage done. Yeah, you go, girl. Well, I do not think who's expecting the witch to do that much damage. I really don't. I don't think he was expecting that much. Fisherman here's gonna come that with a Pekka. Kaboom! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Guys and girls, ladies and gents, he gave up. He rage quit. He left the game. He's out of here. You know what that means, right? It means it's giant time. What do you guys think of the Elixir Golem as well? I know you probably have played it in that practice challenge. By the way, it's a really, really kind of cool idea for Clash Royale to do that practice challenge before the real challenge comes out. It gives, it gives everyone some time to practice with it before uh, going for, for keeps. But uh, I'm assuming he had Packet in there. Not too sure why he gave up. He had a pretty good matchup there. But that's two Pekka decks out of three battles. Uh, but yeah, we're doing okay. Oh, you know what we need, guys? We need camera two. Let's do camera two for now. All right. So, Ozzy. By the way, huge shout out to everyone that tuned in today to the live live stream. If you guys are not aware, I live stream three days a week over on the platform DLive. Link in the description down below. Go follow me over there. Turn on notifications for your device. Uh, if you do not want to miss out on those live streams, we did uh, viewer submitted decks today. We played around with viewer submitted decks. If you guys want a chance to play, for me to play your deck on stream, then make sure you follow me over on D Live. He got a little bit of damage done there, which is highly unfortunate. But he'll opt to ignore that miner, which means we get some decent minor chip damage done there, boys. Uh, so tower got down to less than 3,000 health. Uh, never mind. A little bit more. Oh, it's the witch one shot! The Dark Goblin? Wow. That was in. Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay, I'll say it. That was in Shane. In the membrane. Sorry, guys. I had to say it. I couldn't, I couldn't not say it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? I couldn't not say it. So... Sir. Sir? What do you have for me today? Oh, giant right here. This should distract that fairly nicely. Lock this back here. Really would prefer to get a poison spell down right meow. One giant shot, please. Mine right here. Dang, Daniel. That Dark Goblin did not go down the way that I wanted it to. That's unfortunate, man. But still, we got some decent minor damage done. He's going to go minor here, isn't he? Yes, sir. He thinks he's all cool now, isn't he? He's like, hey, look at me. I'm cool. I went minor. No, sir. In fact, you are not. 
Actually, that was, that's rude. I'm sorry. You're, you're very cool. Ozzy. Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy. My dude, you're very, very cool. But I gotta say, your deck is highly annoying. Giant, get one shot, please. Yes, thank you, Giant. Thank you so much. I like you. Thank you. Thank you, Giant. <laughs> nice, dude. Look at that fisherman just cleaning a house there, eh? Go Giant here. Get her a poison ready for something. Poison this jazz. Oh, the Witch Lock song, guys, gets one shot. That's totally GG's right there, guys. GG's, man. GG's, boys. Good game. Well played. Guys, the new witch is insane. The new witch is absolutely absurd. And look at those dancing spear gloves. You guys see that? They were brick dancing right there. What happened there? Maybe maybe Ozzy didn't pay them enough money. And uh, they were happy that he lost. Because they're definitely busting out some moves, guys. Look at this. All right, guys. One more battle over here. And then I have one replay to finish off as well with you guys. So, Andres. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, my dear dude, my dear sir, or my dear girl, whichever one it is. So, Ice Spirit of the Bridge indicates potentially a Expo deck. Ooh, but the bats do not. Thankfully, the bats come down. And we see... Oh, he's sad. Oh, no, he's sad. I don't like when people are sad, guys. It makes me sad as well when he's sad. Hey, bats, you're disgusting. Facing bats when you have Log in your deck is one of the most annoying things in Clash Royale. But he's got archers, bats, and miner. I'm gonna guess a Pekka deck. Pekka graveyard. Eh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's just like minor control. Yo, you got poison? That's disgusting, dude. Get out of here. Kind of annoying, isn't it? You got a NATO as well? Oh, you got bats. Of course, we already knew that. This one, these bats won't be nearly as much of a threat because the miner's already dead by then. So we'll be good. But uh, maybe maybe just minor cycle. What are you guys thinking? I think he's got packet in there just for the sole fact of uh, the fact that I got a giant. It's just the chances are the chances indicate that it's going to be uh, Pekka. If it is, we're going to see it right now. I'm going to cry. Huh? In front tower. Then he's got in front tower. It's minor in front tower bait. Ooh, the Tessa tower. What would you guys rather face? Tesla? Oh yeah, he's got poison, I forget. <laughs> uh, don't say well played. That wasn't well played. Don't say well played to me, man. That was not well played at all, dude. So this is not looking good so far, guys. He's got a uh, highly annoying deck here. Like I said, the bats, the bats are severely annoying when you do not have a... Uh, a zap for them. Can I go witch up close here so he can't just do what, like that thing he does? With that poison spell? Gonna get a slow giant push right here. Fisherman predicts it. Nice prediction, Shane. But he has a fast cycle, which is really annoying when it comes to, uh... When it comes to, uh, what do you call it? That poison. We can't really outcycle the poison spell because of his fast cycle. Which, as I mentioned, is really annoying. Surprisingly. Man, those those bats though. Holy macro. Are they annoying or what, dude? There we go, nice. Die knight, please. Nothing's here. Yes, pull that miner away. Thank you. So I'm just gonna go slow giant here. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. My oh no 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 no. Miner get, get, get some damage done there, boys. Miner does indeed get some damage done. Fisherman here. Skeletons here, please. All right, so we just went like that. So we're gonna go like witch here. Poison this. Miner here. Lock this back here. Thank you. Hmm. And the bats, once again, guys, get some work done. Alright, see ya. 
Not too sure what you're doing, what your plan is there, buddy. But it's not going to work for you right now. Just telling you that much. Yes. Go, Miner, go. All right, that's respectable damage. He can poison all that, can't he? Here we go. Go giant here to tank for my next miner push. Miner here should get some work done. Gonna go. Oh, but the giant gets the tower, guys. That's it for him. Good game. Well played, man. Did you guys see that tower on the right? Did you all see that tower on the right? I don't even know what got there, but it's at 800 health. Wow, that's insane, dude. Anyways, 31 more trophies. Uh, five wins undefeated, guys, with this deck. Absolutely slaying it right now, dude. Really, really impressed so far with this deck, man. Really, really impressed. New league, thank you. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go ahead here, finish the video off with one replay. Uh, this is, I guess, a 2.6 hog cycle deck. So I wanted to throw this replay in for you guys because it is a pretty popular deck, 2.6 hog rider. I wouldn't say it's meta, because it's not really good. I don't I don't think 2.6 hog rider is good. Um, but it's popular for some reason. So um anyways, uh we're going to go ahead here and fast forward because we don't do anything. This is funny. I find it weird that we both have cycle cards and neither one goes opening play. Like, typically, if you got a fast cycle deck, you can just go opening play and don't really care about it, right? He had skeletons, I had skeletons, and we neither went opening play, which is kind of funny. Anyways, uh, at this point, there's two potential decks you could have. You know, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Ice Spirit, I've seen Log, I've seen Ice Golem, and I've seen Musketeer. So, basically, we know it's either... Well, now we know it's the Hog Rider because it's got cannon in there. So now we know it's 2.6 Hog Rider. But there is a chance that it might be Pump Bow as well. So you have to be very careful. I've, I've had that happen before where I assume it's a, a 2.6 Hog deck. Then he busts out the Expo and I just cry myself to sleep. Uh, so, you know, if it, it most of the time it is 2.6 Hog Rider. But there is a chance it might be Pump Bow as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Anyways, this was my very first battle against 2.6 Hog Rider with this deck. So I was kind of like... Figuring out how to exactly play the matchup, whether I want to play kind of faster, you know, faster Giants at the Bridge or more of a slow beatdown push, right? Because with this Giant deck, you have so many options. You can play Minor Control, do kind of fast cycle Minor Chip damage. You can play aggressive Giant at the Bridge. You can play slow beatdown Giant on your, giant on your King Tower. So I was trying to kind of figure that out in this battle here. We're going to go Minor here for that Musketeer. Minor does assassinate her, log going down for that. He goes, um, Ice Spirit, which attacks the Giant, and the Miner gets a decent amount of damage done to that tower, guys. Down to 2,500 health right here. Now, obviously, we can't pull that Hog Rider, because the Ice Golem is in the way. Ice Golem goes down, Hog Rider gets pulled, uh, and the Hog Rider is now dead. However, he is now in the damage lead. Witch is dead. The Witch now obviously dies to a Fireball Log, which is... Uh, you, gotta, you gotta keep that in mind, right? Because it changes a few interactions, obviously. Now, thankfully here, we kill this Hog Rider, we get one... Giant swing to the tower there. Just, oh, actually two. Wow. That was value. But it's still a pretty close game. I've got 1,500 health on his tower. My tower has 16. So we only have like 124 damage lead here, which is uh, very, very close. Anyways, Hog has one shot. We defend that nicely. We're going to go ahead here and try and protect the Musketeer from the Musketeer. But she does go down to his Musketeer there. Uh, but now we have double Giants going down here, boys. Two Giants. Double the fun. Which or sorry, which the poison going down here for the for the most tier. He locks it back with the, the fireball. He is desperate, guys. He is desperation mode right now. One giant shot, two giant shots, plus the second giant going in there. Miner goes down. Giant dies, but the miner does work, guys. Log goes down here. Miner finishes the tower off. And we have ourselves a one crown victory over a 2.6 Hawk cycle deck, guys. Uh the double giant push there was absolutely absurd. Uh, but with this fast of a deck. You can easily bust out two, sometimes even three giants in the double elixir period. But anyways, guys, good game to Kyle. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself. Like I said before, it's currently the second best deck in Clash Royale in Grand Challenges, which is very, very strong right now, guys. And the Fisherman is obviously still in the meta. We did very well with it today. Five wins in a row undefeated. So definitely happy with the result of this video. Obviously, season did just reset, so it is a bit easier to push right now. But still, the Witch is a very, very cool card that I highly recommend trying out, guys. I know a lot of people think the Witch is dead, 
but that simply is just not the case. She is a very strong card, and you have way more of a use case now for her with being, basically being a stronger Musketeer. She does 320 damage per shot. Musketeer does 263. So she does more, like way more damage than Musketeer does. Plus spawn skeletons, all for one more elixir, guys. So that's definitely a, um, a a huge kind of buff, in my opinion, for the Musketeer. But at the same time, it makes her less annoying, right? They've removed a lot of the annoying stuff about her with the skeletons uh, forcing retargets with the death skeletons. She's less annoying, but also more viable in the meta, it feels like right now. Uh, anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.